big, oppressive, dangerous. Everywhere, products, um, food. This is East country. This is a beautiful culture. And this is communism. In my country, I think I, I may, for now, appreciate what they are doing. Some area where the Chinese companies are operating, especially in the mining sectors, like a gold and diamonds in my country, they are using some kind of a, a very cheap labor. And what people are complaining. Having people from China, uh, goods, well, probably it will be goods and food. They work uh, in many area, economic, you know, especially. Um, but they don't help us to, uh, uh, to talk or to improve the situation of human rights or uh, good governance or fighting against corruption. You know, Belarus. Uh, it's quite a isolated country from West. Uh, the regime all the time look to uh, foreign money supports, but he can't cooperate with the uh, European Union, the US and other West countries. That's why he looked to money from other parts of the world, uh, Arabic country and also China. And uh, a lot of Chinese students uh, uh, studied in our universities and uh, in Minsk, uh, on the streets, um, you can see the um, Chinese students uh, in central part of the Minsk, sometimes you can see a lot of Chinese and different coffee, cafe and all some kind of places. So, in one way, of course, I support it, because it's very uh, in interesting experience to change, uh, it's a cultural change, you know, if, uh, if you look to the uh, people from different parts of the world. In my mind, I, uh, I have other way from uh, to my country because uh, we are in Europe and uh, I support the idea to European uh, uh, cooperation. I want to see my country and you in the European Union and uh, unfortunately we have relations only with uh, this, let's say, not good <laughs> country like Iran, Cuba. Uh, China, Venezuela, and when I was in Geneva in uh, this Universal Periodical Review, this new mechanism in the Council of Human Rights in the UN, we prepared a shadow report, and I saw how these friends uh, they uh, support the regime and also China. Three months ago, I wrote a letter to a Chinese ambassador in Liberia. Rubius, a capital city, where I try to you know, engage them in a way that regional watch for human rights can. Uh, but unfortunately, we were not given the, we were not given the, uh, the opportunity to meet with them. Okay. Uh, when, in terms of human rights, I have not seen that much that uh, the China is doing yet. Yes, I have not really. Their presence has not been felt. Uh, we always question if uh, products are cheap due to um, uh, rights, uh, labor rights being uh, reduced, so why is people, uh, my goods are so, so cheap if we compare it with other regions? So I guess that would be probably the main issue. Um, but I think we're still very far away from, from China in terms of uh, understanding the real problem. China has protected the military regime from pressure to reform, to stop impunity in the country. And also chi Chinese uh, companies, especially state-owned enterprises, have contributed directly or indirectly to an increase in conflict, in human suffering, in forced displacement. So while China says that it supports the right to development, the way they do development in other countries is very harmful, not just to Burma, but also to the people of China.